What's going on guys, it's Jamie here. Thanks for clicking on my video today. I'm Keto Like Jamie on Instagram if you haven't found me on there yet. Today I have something amazingly delicious for you guys. One of my all time favorites in the entire world, chocolate chip cookies. They're keto, paleo, homemade, goodness. But before we get started, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me. I have two special little guests today. Da da da! <laughs> one big I'm and, mom. and this is the wild mom and then one small. You guys have probably seen him before and he's like being a lazy co-star. Are you excited to make the cookies? I am too. So if you're new to my channel, thanks for coming along. I hope you guys really like some of the content I'm putting out and some of these easy homemade recipes. They're great alternatives for the usual garbage that is out there and even stuff you purchase from the store. I can't recommend enough to make everything at home homemade. That is what we're here for. You'll see me do a lot of uh, recipe videos with Logan Sneed and our goal is really just to help promote health and wellness and make really tasty homemade recipes that everyone can do at home and we try to make it super easy for you guys. So let's get to it. The ingredients for today's chocolate chip cookies, the keto chocolate chip cookies. Uh, this macadamia nut beverage, we've got vanilla extract, a little bit of monk fruit, baking powder, almond flour, these amazing dark chocolate chips that are sweetened with stevia, which I'm really excited about, our wild foods, kosher salt and coconut oil. Okay, so. Do you remember my favorite food, food product growing up? Besides pizza? Yes, besides pizza. Chocolate chip cookies. Yes, she'll tell you. They had to be chewy. Soft bake. Yes, soft bake. If y'all have had those Chips Ahoy soft bake, I think I would eat the whole package. Well, that was if my brother didn't get to him first. He would definitely, and I would get so upset. I would like be on the verge of tears. <laughs> That's how addicted I was to sugar guys. I'm actually really excited about these special little guys, but they're so great because they're stevia sweetened and they're 55% cacao. I would either try something like this or just do honestly 100% cacao. Chunks or chips. Either that or just make them on your own. I'm actually gonna show you guys how to make chocolate chunks on your own so you don't have to buy the store-bought ones. They're so simple. So all we're gonna do is mix all the, ingre the dry ingredients really well and then we'll pour the wet ingredients in for our coconut oil. I just melted some over here. Before we get started, mom, did you ever think in your wildest dreams that your daughter would be in the kitchen creating recipes and doing all this? Absolutely not. <laughs> it's so funny, we always talk about how I basically never cooked, never wanted to, I, and I never knew how to do any of it. And now here I am in the kitchen showing you all recipes and how to do them. It's quite amazing how life works, but I wouldn't have it any other way because having complete control over what is going in my food is honestly such a priority to me and also my family. We all cook, we're a family of chefs, and we get it all from mom. So now mom's gonna show y'all how to put everything in a bowl. <laughs> all right, so go I ahead. We're gonna do all dry ingredients. We can do wet ingredients. All we're gonna do is one uh, teaspoon of vanilla extract and we have two tablespoons of coconut oil in here that is melted. I really like to use a rubber spatula guys because otherwise you're gonna leave a ton of ingredients left over. Have just two to three uh, teaspoons of this nut milk kind of depending on what you prefer. I'm gonna go with Three. And here we are. We're gonna mix this into a nice, perfect little dough. All right, so I love using these silicone little baking sheets. They're amazing, easy cleanup, and you don't have to waste parchment paper, and then you just put it on this little baking sheet. It's non-stick. We're just gonna form all of the little cookies, and we'll be good to go. We're gonna put them all into like little balls, and then make them. Here they are. It doesn't make a lot of cookies, but that's totally okay. I don't need to eat a lot of cookies, so this is good. All right, so we're gonna put it, yeah, it looks so good. We're gonna put it in the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes at 325. All right, guys, it's been about 12 to 13 minutes. Wow, they look pretty perfect to me. Oh, I'm so excited to try these. Thank you. 
Okay guys, wow. I am very happy with how these came out. Look how good they look. The simplest ingredients. What do you think? You think they're well, gonna I be like got the biggest one? You think they're gonna be like a 10? I know they're gonna be a 10. Close. Guys, dairy-free, keto, paleo, probably AIP, whole 30, possibly. So good. Here's the big reveal. Let's give it a go. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. So good. Chewy, chewy, and just a really nice texture. Chocolatey. Put lots of chocolate chips in there. Mmm. That's my, that's my happy food dance. I do it all the time when I eat something good. Mmm. All right, guys. I hope you liked that recipe as much as Bailey did. What do you think, Bales? He says no comment. Um, it is super simple and delicious. Comment below if y'all end up making that one. Again, please subscribe and mention to me some other good ideas for recipes. Thanks for watching, bye.